Hi friends, strangers, internet. My name is Emily Hanhan. I love colorful makeup and colorful language. I am here today with a full face of new drugstore makeup. Some of this is specifically new to me and there are some things that are brand new to the drugstore. So when you are seeing this video, I have already done a haul going through everything I picked up during my super budget uh, use all my points Ulta haul and I wanted to use some of these to put together a look. So I don't know if I'm going to be using everything I got but we have the LA Girl Main Stage palette which is a green blue purple palette we have a new foundation from catrice we have a new lip gloss from nyx i have an elf putty blush and a cream highlighter to try and i have opinionated cats if you are new here and you like colorful makeup lots of opinions and cute fat babes in general you should go ahead and subscribe i'm also on instagram and twitter and i have a patreon and youtube membership and there's lots of information in the description box for anyone that is curious. Anything I don't have, I'm going to use just stuff from my collection. I'm going to quickly put on my favorite primer, the VDL Lumi Layer Primer, so it has time to, to hang out on my skin while we're doing eye makeup. I have not yet touched this palette so I think I'm just gonna swatch the metallics I'm not gonna swatch the uh, mattes I don't think I have the patience for that but let me do that and I can show you all so in terms of texture these three the um, sage green the blue and the lime are very like loosely pressed in the pan and the other six are a little bit denser and you kind of have to dig in um, or go back in to pick them up they also feel very very oily it's la girl it's like a 16 dollar palette so i realize that i'm buying this is the way tina the fancy face worded it just like a a lower quality eyeshadow that has mineral oil in it which I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's just the reality of, of what you're buying. I wasn't sure if I was going to swatch the mats, but I decided to just go for it. So the matte formula feels almost velvety. It's like feels very soft. Some of them swatch more vibrant than others, but I think it's a pretty cool array of colors. Um, it is interesting to see so many dark metallics when some of the mattes don't go as dark, but yeah, I think it's probably going to be a green and blue look because y'all know who I am. You know, you know what you signed up for. I'm going to use the two blue mats that are on the same row on my hand. The mirror in this palette is huge and really nice quality. I have to say, if that matters for you, um, like it reminds me of the Tarte Magnetic Palettes that I've been playing with lately. Um, really nice quality. I've also kind of been enjoying doing my face second because I can just be messy with my eyes and the eye shape and then just clean it up. It's different for me. I'm using a fluffy but like flatter brush 
And I don't know, I just felt like using synthetic brushes today. They're, they're definitely not the nicest applying mattes. Um, I'm having some patchiness issues kind of on this part of my brow. But I'm also being like messy and just, I don't know. I'm not stressing myself too much in terms of perfection. Some of y'all might look at that and be like, what, 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 what is going on? But we're just playing today. So I definitely want to put the really bright green on my lid, but um, it is very, very lightly, like very loose. So we're just gonna try to be as careful as we can be. That green is so very much an Emily green. The downside to these thicker, more oily shimmers is that if you're the kind of person that kind of shoves your shimmers up above the crease because they're gonna transfer anyway, they don't kind of blend out in the same way that some, even like the thinner formula shimmers do. But I was able to do it pretty well. Um, and I think what I want to do is, with one of the two dark blue shimmers, do like a blue wing, because y'all know I've been liking my winged liners. And I've been growing partial to the Pixie Epoxy um, from Firene for shimmers, because um, I find it's pretty easy to apply like just straight in with the doe foot and I'm only really using a little brush because I'm trying to do a bit of a wing. gonna try to resist and just stop there. I'm going to grab some micellar water, just wipe away in case anything is there, probably wipe off these swatches, and we'll move on to face and then finish up the eyes. Coffee break. Now something that I haven't tried in a really long time are brow pins. And this was definitely a Seeking Alexandria purchase. This is the Milani Weekender, I think is what it's known by, or the micro, the Stylo Micro Blade actually. And I have it in medium brown. I'm gonna do my brows before I put any foundation down in case that's a concern. I feel like that might've been something that Paige said, or maybe that was somebody else with a different brow product. Who knows? I'm usually more of a brow gel person, so, I'm gonna try this, and if I feel like I want to bring in reinforcements, I have my CoverGirl brow gel here. Really micro fine point. So 
So those are the brows with just the brow pin. And they're definitely cousins, not sisters today. I I'm gonna I'm gonna layer it up. I'm gonna start with one side because I wanna see if it what what happens. So I think with brow gel, it does take away the hair-like strokes of it all. Um, maybe if you went in after with the pin, or yeah, probably what's smarter, use a clear brow gel and go in with the pin. Um, I'm gonna match them up so that they don't look that different, but we will have to play with the Milani pin a little bit more. I do like the tone you can see how warm this brow gel is compared to how like more cool tone which I like. Going in afterwards and filling any gaps in with the pin, especially if the brow gel moved around the pin from underneath, worked. Okay, okay, okay. Brows are done. That was a lot of time for brows. Now, I'm excited for this foundation because this is an Audra recommendation. This is the Catrice True Skin. I got it in 102 Neutral Ivory. It's supposed to be a hydrating foundation, long wear. Um, it has a pump, which I really like. I hope I was close-ish with the color. We'll see. I have a freshly washed foundation brush because my hands have glitter pigment on it. I pumped it out on this, um, what are these called? I always forget. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Seems pretty runny from the first pump, but I know the first pump can vary and I'm picking it up on the brush. I feel like I did a solid job with the um, color choice and I just pumped out a little bit more for the center of the face. So I actually used the foundation and I concealed a little bit under the eye with it. It's not like the most concealing um, and it's not something I would always do, but I wanted to give that a try because I didn't buy a concealer and I kind of don't feel like pulling one out. So yeah, once I do the rest of the eye makeup, if I still feel like the darkness is a bit much, I might go in with a little bit of a, a concealer, but we're gonna go with that for now. I like the finish. I like the way it looks on my skin. Uh, I have a little bit of dryness right around my pierce, my nose piercing, and it's picking up on that a little bit. But it looks really nice. It's not like glossy or dewy feeling, but it is pretty natural looking. I will keep you updated on this as, as I know more information. Now I picked something up that I kind of just don't even assume I'm gonna really like. I know, I know what. I picked up this little quad of cream highlighters from JCAT. JCAT is one of those brands that I feel like has some hidden gems and I was just kind of thinking about cream highlighter at the drugstore and um, I had, I have the e.l.f. the little active uh, face and lip palette and it has a cream highlighter in there that's really nice so I picked this up I don't know if it's gonna be any good I'm just using my finger
so I put the whitish shade on this side um, this color on this side I put the pinky tone on the uh, cheek area and a little bit of the gold or whatever that warmer tone down the center of my nose it's fine I don't the pans are really small so like getting my finger in there is pretty challenging so I'm, I'm, I'll play with this more in terms of brushes or other things to use with it but I don't know undecided so I picked up an elf putty blush and this is in Bora Bora <laughs> the most bubblegum Barbie pink so that was a choice I don't really like having a bunch of jars like this like this gives me like ColourPop Super Shock shadow vibes and it's not my preferred like way to have a bunch of blushes so that's why I only picked up one uh, I'm gonna use an elf brush this is their no 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 this is not an elf brush this is an it cosmetics brush but elf recently released kind of like a dupe of this brush but I'm gonna use the big uh, foundation end So this feels like one of those products you you can't just dab your brush into you have to kind of swirl with a little pressure in case you're used to more creamy emollient um, cream products it's cute I, I like a nice pink blush moment yeah it definitely feels like a firmer pressed like less creamy cream product um more silicone slippy very very first impressions is that if you are a little bit scared of cream blushes and you're more of a powder blush person but you want to dip your toes in for some reason this formula seems like a solid first choice so while i'm putting on my eye makeup i'm gonna put on the this is milky gloss from nyx and milk and honey when i put in my order this was like a early access thing and i'm not sure if it's gonna be my kind of vibe so i just want to put it on and see how it looks and settles so that if i want to adjust my lip product once the eyes are done i'll have some more information I specifically picked up one of the paler shades to use more as like a topper gloss because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like a milky gloss so I'll probably put on a lipstick and put more of this on but we're not there yet I'm going in with my very smallest brushes to do a little under eye action So for finishing up the eyes, I just did the same green and the lighter of the two blues on the lower lash line with the icy blue on the inner corner. And then I used the mint LA Girl Shockwave liner with a navy Milani liner for the waterline with a little bit, just a minimal amount of uh, mascara 
It's the Holika Holika little skinny brush mascara I have. For the lips, I ended up using a little bit of um, cream blush, not the e.l.f. one. I actually pulled out a Ritual Defee blush, but just like basically a little bit of a pinky tone. And then I put the gloss back on top because I just decided I wanted it to kind of vibe with the cheek color. So that is the finished look. What do you think? Did you enjoy this kind of full face of drugstore get ready with me? Uh, I have, I feel like I have some hits and some misses within this group, but a lot of it is uh, waiting to be determined. Now, if you saw my haul and you saw my mention of a bunch of lash products, what am I trying to say? If you saw my haul, I mentioned some false lashes and some new lash application things that I picked up to try. I don't have the patience for that tonight, but I think I will make it its own little video. So in case you were waiting for that part of the video, not yet. But if you enjoyed this look, if you enjoy seeing me play with colorful makeup, and seeing new products, older products, products I love, products I hate on the channel. Like I said at the beginning, go ahead and subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. Take care of yourself, friends. Thank you for hanging out with me uh, for a, a, a chill, get ready with me, playing with new makeup, and uh, hopefully I'll see you again real soon. Bye.